പശ്ചിമേഷ്യൻ സംഘർഷങ്ങളുടെ പശ്ചാത്തലത്തിൽ ഇന്ത്യയിലേക്ക് വിനോദസഞ്ചാരത്തിന്റെ ഭാഗമായി കടന്നു വന്ന് തിരികെ ഇസ്രയേലിലേക്ക് മടങ്ങിപ്പോകാൻ കഴിയാതെ ഒരു വിഭാഗം ജൂയിഷ് പൗരന്മാർ അവർ ആ യഹൂദ പൗരന്മാർ കോവളത്തും ഒപ്പം തന്നെ തിരുവല്ലത്തുമായി ക്യാമ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അതിൽ ഒരു കുടുംബമാണ് തങ്ങളുടെ ദുരനുഭവം പങ്കുവെച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ന്യൂസ് എയ്റ്റീനോട് ഒപ്പം ചേരുന്നത് വെൽക്കം ദാറ്റ് വി നോ ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ ഇൻ എ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ക്രൈസിസ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് യു ആർ ഗുഡ് നൈം അവിഷായി ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് മൈ വൈഫ് ഹദാസ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ഹൗ ലോങ് യു ആർ ഹിയർ with your family uh, we came uh, to india for five weeks and uh, now all flight cancelled we don't know when we can go back uh, you came to india on which date uh, september 12 okay uh, that visa for how many months or it is we made a visa for five years but a lot of uh, israelis uh, may have visa for uh, one month and the uh, time is finished and they need to extend it they were okay already their time finished yeah. okay, okay. we have a lot of friends that in this problem okay uh, they are staying along with you here or somewhere else uh, no we've been together till a few days ago and uh, they moved to kovalam and we going to meet them tomorrow okay uh, what is the situation uh, as a family that you are facing right now because of this stagnancy the thing is that we can We cannot go back home because in Israel it's like it's war zone. No school, no kindergarten, no works, everything, you know, shut down, sirens, bumping, and uh, all the flights canceled. So even if you want to go back, there is no flight to go back. Okay. And what about the age of your children? Uh, two and a half, four and a half, and eight. okay uh, your economic situation right now you have enough money with you for staying in india or is it uh, we beyond have, we have the money but we need to load the budget in the hotels and uh, you know moving from place to place so we stuck we've been in the varkala for two weeks it's the most uh, long place that we've been every few days we moved and now we now we are out of salaries because we don't work since uh, September 9. We were supposed to travel for five weeks and we had the budget for five weeks, but now we already two weeks more, more than the time uh, we planned, and there is no salary. October we didn't work at all. And uh, September we worked half month, but that's, we knew that's what's going to happen, but October it's, it's a surprise. and we don't have salary and okay you have a, you have talked to with the foreign regional registration office for getting assistance is it happen like that well uh, no. in in israel or in no, india no no in in india particularly in kerala after these problems arised you have any discussions with the fro we did we don't need because we have the visa but uh, our friends they go, went there and uh, to extend their visa they didn't get answer yet after uh, almost two weeks okay they are, they have came here for a uh, few weeks yes. that visa also for few weeks visa for one month they, they get visa for one month and they were supposed to go back after uh, three weeks and uh, it's finished oh it created some uh, legal issues also yeah because of that visa has extended already yeah. then what's their plan is there any discussions with you Uh, they they waiting for the answer from fair office and uh, we waiting uh, for the sky open in israel to go back if it happens so that means the government of india is uh, if they will help you to go back to your own uh, soil or sand then what be what is your plan your relatives you have you are in touch with them Yeah. in via phone or internet yes 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 yeah we talking with them all the time uh, every day almost uh, every day there are uh, missiles from uh, gaza uh, to israel all over israel uh, everything is closed now people are uh, not going to work uh, no kindergarten no schools okay that we already know yes know, and we don't want to take our kids to a war zone now so yes, then uh, actually if it is happen like so uh, partially you are safe here yeah 
We are very safe, we feel very safe in India and the people are here are very kind, uh, we feel like uh, home. Okay, then uh, my question is, what's your plan if when you go back to Israel, the war situation is going on in a, a very uh, threatening situation. Then it is in a very threatening, dangerous situation, yeah. the war situation is going on. Then what's your plan if you go back to Israel, whether you become safe or no, we are not safe in Israel. Okay, Here we are safe. Then what's your plan? If the yeah, government is... waiting for things to relax, you know, to, to be good. Waiting the war to, to end. Okay, you will get any assistance from your relatives or from the government of Israel for staying here for some more days? No. No, they won't uh, help us. Okay, is it your first time visit to India? No, my third time, and his fourth time, and my son uh, second, second time. Okay. We love India. We've been a few times. Okay. Why you are coming to India? Because of we in love in India. It's like um, the most peaceful place in the world. Amazing people, amazing view, a lot of options. You feel the simplicity and the quiet and the peaceful just peaceful place okay then uh, if the government will provide the facility for rescue flight i think something is going on like that do you have any i don't want to go back uh, to a war zone especially with the kids they don't need to to live li life like this okay then if if the government will provide the rescue flight you will not go till now when uh, it's war in Israel, I don't want to take my kids not to this. Not now, no, not now when it's, it's very, it's, it's hot there, everything is like, but when the situation will calm down and be like in a situation that you can live there, so of course we're going to go back, but I think it will take, I hope, I hope, uh, I hope not so much, but I don't think it's going to happen soon. I mean, okay. yeah, you are, even though you belong to that uh, uh, Jewish community, but I am asking from an, uh, from just like an Indian, that, uh, that even if it, uh, justice is with any of the side, but the uh, war situation, it is not uh, justifiable from any ground. Uh, you support the uh, Jewish action right now going on or uh, no war situation? We support no war situation, but uh, you know, I'm 42 and I live, this is my life, you know, we're going to the army every time there is a kind of war in Israel, if it's from the north, if in, in the south, uh, from 48, from the Independence Day, we have war in Israel, but this situation like that never been. It's the uh, first time and a lot of people died, a lot of people kidnapped. Uh, no, we don't know. The most, the most cruel attack ever. I think the world never saw this kind of action. It's like, I have no word to describe these people. I can't call them people, but the organization. Like, you read and you watch the videos and you, you not believe that this is truly happened, that human beings can do these kind of things. So this, this war is like, it's never done before. I mean, this kind of terror and all what's going on there, it's like we never saw before. It's like disaster. Okay, anyway, that, uh, your words are uh, clear. Thank you for uh, joining with us. And I am Hadas Abishai Dambadigal. Israel is not Hadas Abishai Dambadigal. Kutigal Bana, Ipol, I Kovala to Ulada, Abradopum, Idubola Tane, Israel in the Ibla Ketia, we know the Sajara and the Pagama Yeti and the Rebadipur, Kovalatum, Tiribalatum, Ulpa Unda and Nana, Ibar Namuru Vecta Makanada, Pratana Maya, our Nair in the Uru Padisadi, our Sampatik Maya, Budumutical Tanyakanam, Anja Aicha taking Matimaita, 
ആ ഇവിടേക്ക് എത്തിയവരാണ് പലരും സെപ്റ്റംബർ പന്ത്രണ്ടിനാണ് ഈ കുടുംബം ഇവ ഇവിടേക്ക് എത്തിയത് അവർ പല സ്ഥലങ്ങളിൽ സന്ദർശനം നടത്തുകയും ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞ പതിനാറാം തീയതി തിരികെ പോകേണ്ടിയവരായിരുന്നു പക്ഷേ ഈ പ്രതിസന്ധി നിലനിൽക്കുന്ന ഒരു സാഹചര്യത്തിൽ യുദ്ധസമാനമായ ഒരു പ്രതിസന്ധി നിലനിൽക്കുന്ന സാഹചര്യത്തിൽ അവർക്ക് അവിടേക്ക് തിരികെ പോകാൻ കഴിയാത്ത ഒരു സ്ഥിതിവിശേഷമുണ്ട് അതിനും അപ്പുറത്തേക്ക് ഇന്ത്യയിൽ തങ്ങൾ സുരക്ഷിതരാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ ഒരു ഘട്ടത്തിൽ ഈ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളുമായി അവിടേക്ക് ഈ കൈക്കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളുമായി പോകാൻ കഴിയാത്ത ഒരു സ്ഥിതിവിശേഷമുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ സാമ്പത്തികമായി അവർ പ്രതിസന്ധി നേരിടുന്നുമുണ്ട് അവിടെ കൃത്യമായ ഇടപെടൽ ഇസ്രയേലിൻ്റെ അടക്കം ഭാഗത്തു നിന്ന് വരേണ്ടതുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ അവർ നമ്മളോട് പങ്കുവെക്കുന്ന പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ആശങ്ക അവർക്കൊപ്പം എത്തിയ ഇസ്രയേലിൽ നിന്നുള്ള മറ്റ് അവരുടെ സുഹൃത്തുക്കൾ അവരുടെ വിസ കാലാവധി തീർന്നതിനെ തുടർന്ന് ഒരു നിയമപരമായ പ്രതിസന്ധിയിലൂടെയാണ് കടന്നു പോകുന്നത് ആ പ്രതിസന്ധിക്ക് പരിഹാരം കാണുന്നത് എങ്ങനെയൊന്ന് ഒരു വലിയ ചോദ്യത്തിന് മുമ്പിലാണ് അവരുള്ളത് എന്തായാലും യുദ്ധം കൊടുമ്പിരി കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന സാഹചര്യത്തിൽ പെട്ടെന്ന് അവിടേക്ക് ഇനി പോകുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ശ്രമകരമായ ഒരു ദൗത്യമായി മാറും അത് തന്നെയാണ് അവരുടെ മുമ്പിൽ പ്രധാന വെല്ലുവിളിയായി മാറുന്നതും ക്യാമറമാൻ ബിബിൻ മുരളിക്കൊപ്പം ഡാൻ ക